Welcome to our channel. This is Joey with our weekly Q&A. Recently, Chinese President Xi Jinping re-emphasized the importance of food saving. The intention is to advocate the public not to waste food and to only order portions they can finish. Today, we have our analyst Ethan Yan talking about the nationwide food saving campaign. Ethan, what's the ground of launching this campaign? Currently, China itself can supply 80% of food consumed domestically, which means that it still and must import the remaining 20%. This makes China the largest food consuming and importing country in the world. But 2020 is a difficult year, especially for China. The global outbreak of COVID-19 hits China a lot. This includes food processing and logistics. But more importantly, the recent flood in South China put more than 6,000 acres of farmland and water. Considering the upcoming harvest in fall, which nearly contribute to 75% of the annual harvest. These floods put additional constraints on food supply. So according to the data provided by National Food and Strategic Reserve Administration, domestic food supply is still 20% less in the first half. Though these challenges will not have an immediate severe impact on China, preparing for the future uncertainties is the tradition of Chinese especially when there is unnecessary food waste that could be easily avoided. So, what are the major changes we can observe after launching a national campaign against food waste? Since 2013, the food waste in business dinner is largely controlled, so the campaign this time is mainly targeted at individuals. The first and the most important major impact that we can observe is restaurants started to discourage people from ordering more. For 10 people going to the restaurant, they will only allow you to order 9 dishes. In some other restaurants, if you show them a clean plate after eating, you will be given a fruit platter for free. This voluntary discouragement of food waste is, in fact, spreading across the whole of China and is quite effective. The second thing is related to what we talked about before, live streaming. Some people in the local live streaming platform are called foodie by the name there's someone who eats a lot and bring traffic to the restaurant from his or her followers. For example, one person eats 20 ser servings or one person eats 300 sushi for dinner. But indeed, many of them are fake. They just pretend to eat more and throw the food away and then edit the video to make them believe that they are foodie. We can also see those live streaming platforms are moving positively and banning people who waste food. Although this campaign have just been launched for around one week ago, the positive reaction from the society is surprising. When most restaurant owners and individuals are supporting the campaign, we believe those valuable resources which were saved during this campaign can be further reallocated to produce better value in China and contribute to China's robust economy. That's it for this weekly Q&A. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.